Bloop a doop a doo. Bloop a doop a da ba Hey everybody, I'm recording at Molly's house because I was surprised to hear that she wanted to talk about Harvest Moon with me. So here we are. Molly is not ready yet though, so I'll just start without her. Harvest Moon is a 1996 farming sim video game, and it's also sort of a dating sim. It's the first in the long series of Harvest Moon games, also known as Story of Seasons games. It was developed by Amkus, I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. But it was published in the US by Natsume, and it was produced by Yasuhiro Wada. And um, if you look through his game credits, they're almost entirely Harvest Moon games. So this was what he was really into. And it was kind of interesting because apparently he wanted to create an RPG that didn't have fighting in it. And I think he succeeded. I think this game is interesting because if you look at all of the individual little pieces, it's full of things that you might think that I wouldn't like. But I still have kind of a soft spot for this game. And so I figured, uh, okay, so Molly's here now. So, um, oh, actually, now I... I'm getting a call, I gotta take this. So why don't you go ahead and start? Oh. Uh, pick up where I left off. Okay. Yeah, so like Michael said, um, we are here to talk about Harvest Moon, uh, Neil Young's 1992 follow-up to his seminal album that came out about 20 years, no, exactly 20 years previously, Harvest, uh, which is considered by many critics and you know, tastemakers to be Neil Young's best album. So in 1992, he comes out with Harvest Moon, which uses, by and large, a lot of the same musicians as the Harvest album, including backing vocals from Linda Ronstadt and James Taylor. Although this one doesn't have, unlike Harvest, it doesn't have Graham Nash, Stephen Stills, and David Crosby, Neil Young's sort of longtime collaborators. Oh, hey, so, okay, we are here to talk about <laughs> Harvest Moon. Yeah, yeah, so uh, that's where I left off. Um, so, oh, wait a second, I think I smell something burning. Okay, so the story of Harvest Moon, there is some story to the game, but it's not really much. But if you compare it to other farming sims like Stardew Valley, you know, it seems even more minimal because St Stardew Valley does have more of a story to it. But like, does that matter? I don't know. It's a farming and dating sim, so it doesn't necessarily need to have a strong story. So um, something that I love about Harvest Moon is the way that it approaches these sort of romantic relationships or really one romantic relationship, um, which is with Peggy Young, uh, his longtime wife from about 1974 to, I think they divorced uh, somewhere in the 2010s. But you have these songs, particularly the title track, Harvest Moon, which sort of approach these very long-term romances from a way of, that feels very mature, it feels very adult. I would compare it to Joni Mitchell's uh, Both Sides Now, right? Like the idea of like looking back at your life and sort of assessing it. And in Harvest Moon, he says, you know, because I'm still in love with you, I wanna see you dance. It's a story of a mature adult relationship. Um, and I think it's really beautiful. I think we don't see a lot of that in pop culture. Yeah, and I, I like the characters that are there because even though there are relatively few characters compared to many other things of its type, there are five really strong female characters in there who have personalities outside of your interaction with them. Although it does sort of feel like they're just there so that you can choose which female character you're going to woo. But you know, you get married, you have kids. As with a lot of stuff like this, it does sort of feel like the relationships are transactional. Like you give gifts to the girl and she likes you and then you can ask her to marry you and if she likes you enough she'll say yes but what, what molly was saying about dancing it's you know when when there are these town dances you could choose whichever girl you want to dance with and if you choose someone other than your wife she likes you less a lot of this album is about like i said his his longtime wife peggy including the opening track unknown legend which talks about her because you know you mentioned the unique characters and she so in real life neil young met her she was working as a waitress in a diner where he frequented near his ranch and supposedly she um as is described in the song unknown legend wrote a harley davidson and her blonde hair flew in the wind <laughs> while she rode and it does seem like uh yeah exactly the kind of woman that neil young would fall in love with <laughs> yeah interesting characters throughout definitely I really like the graphic. There are a lot of cute animations to it, lots of character to it. It still holds up for 
other things around the same time. I think it's really interesting the way that it calls back to the 1972 album Harvest. The most well-known track from Harvest is Old Man. Um, that one also features Linda Ronsat and James Taylor on backup vocals. It was a big hit in the US um, and elsewhere. In Harvest Moon, the track You and Me also features Linda Ronstadt on backup vocals and it echoes Old Man a little bit. It talks about Old Man. It uses, it quotes the melody a little bit uh, in that section where he addresses an old man. I don't think that anybody thinks of Harvest Moon as, or I don't think Neil Young necessarily thinks of Harvest Moon as a sequel. <laughs> to Harvest, but I don't think it's coincidence that it was tw exactly 20 years later and that it was called Harvest Moon and that it has these moments, you know, all the same musicians and these moments that call back to the previous album. It's clear that he was like in some kind of nostalgic moment, I think. I really like the design of a lot of, a lot of the game. The character colors and shapes are really distinct and easily recognizable. I love the designs for the different stages of crop growth, like the seedling to a mature plant to a mature plant that has a vegetable on it. Even the different looks for things after you've watered them, it's it's a really nice touch. I also really like the animals in the game, like the, the cows, the dog and the horse all have a lot of character to them. The chickens, not so much, but they're just chickens. I also like the color changes that happen in the different mm -hmm. seasons. So much of the story is really told through color changes, even like when to cut grass to turn into feed for the animals. A lot of it's based on color, but as someone who is a little red-green color deficient, sometimes it's a little hard to tell. Right, like uh, in Harvest, the album has a big orange sun on it, and on the album cover for Harvest Moon, it's like a black and white with Neil Young silhouette in the background. Mm. Yeah, and it's interesting you were talking about what you liked about the sound. Um, I think the sound is the weakest part of Harvest Moon. A lot of the compositions are just not there, and especially a lot of the instruments. There's some intentional detuning that on the available hardware doesn't sound good. I get the idea that it's supposed to be like homey, but it's unpleasant, and a lot of it is just like two alternating chords. Uh, it, it, doesn't work for me. I mean, I would say that it's weaker compared to the 1972 album Harvest. Mm. Okay, so then we get into the actual gameplay. There's some things like getting caught on the scenery when you're running around. When you're giving someone a gift or putting something in your horse's saddlebag, if the person or the horse moves just a little bit, it'll just smash on the ground and you can't pick it back up. A lot of these farming sims make use of time. You have to get things done within like a, you know, like three minute day or something like that. And this one seems just a little bit too short, but also it sort of makes up for it because there's not as much to do in this game as there are in many later games of its type. But that's less of a problem in fall and winter because there's so little to do that I usually end up just sort of waiting around until the shipper comes at five o'clock and then I go in and sleep with my wife. <laughs> but the, the positives, the, the positive, it's, it's just a chill, relaxing game and it's repetitive in an almost meditative way. Yeah, kind of like that um, guitar lick in the title track, Harvest Moon. Critics around the time gave Harvest Moon an aggregated score of 73%. Uh, if you follow the formula that I have for it, I, it comes out to a 70. I think the game deserves an 83 for the reasons that I was saying up top about how it seems like it's greater than the sum of its parts. If you put those two of my scores together, this game gets a 77% or a C. And here's where this fits in with all of the other games we've reviewed. As I always point out with this, these scores should be reevaluated at some point, but I think the order of them is about right. If you think a score is too low, it might be because I wasn't the only person to review it. Sometimes Ramin and I have different views on games. Music website Classic Rock Review named Harvest Moon its album of the year for 1992. <laughs> the song Harvest Moon topped AARP's list of 16 songs everyone over 50 should own. <laughs> okay, so I think at this point, I mean, it's obvious that we've had this, it's, it's obvious that we've had this joke 
<laughs> running the whole time. Uh, the 1992 album Harvest Moon by Neil Young and the 1996 video game Harvest Moon. This was the only way I could get Michael to let me talk about Neil Young. Yeah, because I really, I, he's not, he's not my favorite. I'll say it that way. About the game, I always like to end with like, should you play this game? And I think as it is with most of these, it sort of depends. If you're looking for an engaging story and if you're looking to be challenged in any way, then no, this isn't the game for you. But if you want to just zone out and do something repetitive and cute, then this might be the game for you, but maybe play it on mute and listen to better music because this music from this game is really bad. Better music, like Neil Young's Harvest Moon, but really just the first four tracks and then you can just listen to the 1972 album Harvest, which is much better. I have my hands in my laps and Demi just put her face in my hands. She's perfect and I love her. The best dog. <laughs> it's... They're just chickens. Hashtag they're just chickens. Hashtag ham sale. Um, yeah. <laughs> if you like this video, give it a like or give it a pity like if you didn't like it. Leave us comments on either the game or the album below if you have thoughts on either of those. Two, this side is a video that YouTube thinks you might like, so check that out. Up there is the button where you can get to our channel, where you can subscribe to us. We do reviews of music and video games and other things like that, but mostly music and video games. And that should be about it. Maintain your groovy selves. Maintain your groovy selves. Bye-bye. <laughs>